It's actually pretty boring. Binge Pipe has no choice but to present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, please like us. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm pleased to announce the winner of the 65th annual Plainfield City of Commerce raffle is... Hey, get that drummer boy out of here! Darn drummer boys will be the death of me. Eight players, huh? So I guess it wasn't a waste of time for our art team to learn to draw the number eight. Okay, let's light this sucker. Start the game. Time for question one. To get things started, naming names. If I asked the star of the film, call me by your name, to call me by his name, what would I say? Call me Jordan, call me Army, call me Chadwick, or call me Channing? How do we do? <laughs> Army Hammer is one of the main stars of Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> when someone calls me Mr. Masterson, I say please, Mr. Masterson was my father's name. Call me by your father's name. It gets really weird really quick. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Introducing the quick brown the fox jumped over the lazy dog. Just take that in for a moment. Okay. Arrange the letters from the title of this question into alphabetical order for me. Brown dog fox jumped lazy over quick the the. Brown dog jumped fox lazy quick over the the the. Brown dog fox jumped lazy over quick the the the. Or brown dog jumped fox lazy over quick the 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 the. What'd you guys pick? This is wrong, 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 wrong. The title of this question was The Quick Brown the Fox Jumped Over the Lazy Dog. It's a classic pangram, but I snuck another the in there, so alphabetically it goes Brown Dog Fox Jumped Lazy Over Quick the the the. True story, I once had a brown dog fox. He was always jumping lazy over quick the the does. So, uh, this is actually surprisingly accurate. Why don't we do it with three? Next, mock blockers. And check the copyright because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven movie titles, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a multi-million dollar blockbuster, or a direct-to-video rip-off made by the Asylum Production Company. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a blockbuster or a mockbuster. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Okay, let's do it. Atlantic Rim. Covenant. The Terminators. The Fate of the Furious. Planet of the Apes. Almighty Thor. Independence Day.
You can't spell disastrous without us. But player five, you failed in ways numbers can't truly explain. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Oh, that means it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks for that. At Binge Pipe, we just want you to be reasonably happy. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. Here's one I like to call eye candy. I'm just sitting here eating candy and I'm trying to remember. Which M&M character wears glasses? Green, brown, blue, or yellow? Anyone? Anyone? Okay, well, this is gonna be a blast. Here's what a right answer looks like. Introduced in 2012, Ms. Brown M&M is the one with corrective eyewear. <laughs> Actual M&Ms contain no glass, unless you're a recovering chocoholic with a broken candy dish. Here we have Solar Survivor. They say in your first day in the solar system, you should find the biggest planet and hit them in the face. If you're going by volume, who should you hit? Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, or Saturn? Well, well. Player 5 just dropped a screw on you guys. This one goes out to my grandma. Love you, Gramps. Let's see how that shook out. In terms of both mass and volume, Jupiter is the biggest planet. Don't hit him too hard though, he already has that big red spot. <laughs> Round one is over. Here's who you have to destroy. Currently, these players are tied for the lead. Player five, on the other hand, you're doing the bad thing. The data we have acquired demonstrates a need for an additional screw. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy by using that thing. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? This is a real party now. Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up next. Soup, there it is. Using the correct pronunciation of this dish, which I'm not going to say now because it would give it away, what would be a good yet terrible name for a Vietnamese restaurant? Pho Shizzle, The Po House, Forget About It, or a good old fashioned Ho Down? Brace yourself. Player 5 has unleashed the screw. This one goes out to my lawyer. I love you, Kurt. What'd you pick? Oh no! <laughs> the preferred answer is this delicious soup is pronounced pho. If that name's taken, you could call your restaurant Go Pho Yourself. Hey, good work with that screw player five. Here's your extra cash. Last pairs should mocha de moi. Set. Coming up. Type equals squiggly bracket writer comma archaic squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. <clears throat> Binge Pipe acquired a ton of private user data and now they need a little help making sense of it. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wanted, liar accompanist for poetry. Wanted, activities for exile. Wanted, 
Ladies for sex. Whose search history have we acquired? Aristotle, Rupi Kaur, Sappho, or Robert Frost? Let's see who got it. Whoa! Oh, that was nice. Sappho is a lyric poet from ancient Greece who was exiled to Sicily. Her reputation with women on her home island of Lesbos led to the creation of the term lesbian. Well, hold on, hold on. How do you spell that again? S-A-P-P-H-O. Okay, I'm just gonna bookmark that for later. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Up next... Let's hear it for Lynn. And uh-oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a... Flicker fits numbskull. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, head in the game. Check out this gibberish phrase and let me know what TV catchphrase it rhymes with. Lynn, her, Miss Numbing? And don't get hung up on that punctuation. It's time to prepare. For a very chilly time. The cold season will be upon us. I think we were all thinking it. going. Na, 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 na. Oh, here's a good one. She's a total Dharma queen. Which Buddhist is living their best life? The one reincarnated in the animal realm? The one reincarnated in the deva realm? The one reincarnated in the ghost realm? Or the one reincarnated in the Naraka realm? Hope you like what you picked. Not in this life. <laughs> in the six realms of rebirth, the spirits with the most karma transcend to the Deva realm, aka the God realm. And that realm looks good on you. Work it, Diva. <laughs> it's time for... I'll keep this one short. Whose shorts are blue, Spongebob Squarepants, Dora the Explorer, Bart Simpson, or Charlie Brown? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Bart almost always wears an orange t-shirt and blue shorts. I gotta find out what detergent he uses to keep those things so bright after 30 years. Ow. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Well, actually, are these things actually what they say they are? Good luck.
Player 4 takes it! Wow, Player 4, you are the definition of an underachiever. And yet, compared to the competition, I might as well just congratulate you for remembering to breathe. And if these numbers don't make sense to you... YOU DON'T KNOW JACK! It's like pizza, but for women. Hey! hey.